I'm here at the NKU Soccer Stadium on a beautiful day for some soccer where the Norse men have just taken on Missouri S&T for the third time this season playing in the NCAA Division II Midwest Regional Championship game. In both the previous meetings with the Miners, NKU has walked away with the victory and we're definitely looking for that lucky number three coming into today's match. To get things started early, Stephen Beattie serves an assist straight to Andy Montgomery, who headballs it in, putting the Norse up 1-0 in the first five minutes of play. I spoke to Montgomery after the game about scoring his second goal of the season after having missed the first 10 games due to injury. I'm just delighted to be getting back in there. Uh, delighted to be con contributing to the team. Uh, it's horrible watching on as we're, I know we were winning games, but it's horrible watching from the bench. So just delighted to be getting in there, getting my name on the score sheet and getting a W. And the Norse made sure they got that W. Stephen Beattie passes it down the line to Kevin Donnelly. He'll dribble it up the sideline, going around S&T defenders. He shoots and he scores, giving him his first goal of the season as the Norse go up 2-0 in the first 10 minutes of play. Norse goalie Michael Laverick will keep S&T scoreless as the first half comes to an end. Norse fans were, of course, in attendance, cheering loud and proud on this beautiful day for the NKU men's soccer team. Coach Besseliga pumps the men up going into the second half, having just 45 minutes left before claiming the Midwest region title. Freshman Nick Chereau gets a pass down the sideline from Beattie. He'll shoot, and he barely misses the top of the goal. But s and will remind NKU that they're not to be taken lightly as they sneak one right past Laverick in the 63rd minute of play, cutting NKU's lead down to one. The Norse respond, trying to gain back that comfortable two-point lead, but it'll be s and that finds the next goal as they come down attacking NKU's defensive line finding another hole in the net, tying the score at the 68th minute of play, two to two. And as the clock winds down, NKU struggles to get their lead back, but Stephen Beattie, of course, proves exactly why he is an All-American soccer player as well as the GLVC player of the year, putting the Norse up three to two at the 88th minute of regulation. The goal will seal the victory. I was able to speak with Beatty and Coach Basiliga after their win today. You scored the winning goal in the last three minutes of regulation. What what emotions were going through your body when you scored that? It's crazy. I mean, uh, we were two, two up, went into the locker room, said come out second half like it's 0-0. Zero, zero. We didn't, we gave away two silly goals, backs against the wall, but we showed character just like Friday night. Came back, I just had in my head, I'm gonna get one more chance, and it fell for me in the 87 minute, and I took it, it was just over the moon, just very emotional, I mean, three minutes away from going to overtime my senior year, could have been over, but no, one more chance, we took it, just absolutely, like, over the moon. Just wanna give a shout out to all my mates back home in Ireland and my family, that one for you. This is your fourth time in five years, winning the Midwest division. How does that feel? What, what, what kind of, that's a great accomplishment. It's a tribute to the kids who've been through this program. You know, not many teams turn over play, players like we've had. We've had eight All-Americans, nine All-Americans in the last five years, and, and these kids uh, coming in every year know the expectations of what's expected out of them, and they've done a great job of buying into what we have. But it doesn't hurt having a player like Stephen Beattie, who uh, arguably is one of the best players in the country. Hopefully, uh, after his college career is over, he can move on to another career in professional soccer, if not here, back home in Ireland or England. All right, well, thank you very much, Coach, and congratulations once again. Thank you very much. The Norse men defeated Missouri S&T with a final score of 3-2, to two, going on to be named the champions of the Midwest region. They will take on West Virginia Wesleyan this Sunday at the NKU Soccer Stadium, playing in the NCAA Division II National Quarterfinal Game. Reporting for the NKU Sports Show, I'm Abby Azmena.